So, um, so now we're just we're gonna we're gonna start the Arctic char, mm -hmm. and um, we're just gonna uh, season a little bit, and we're gonna cook it skin side down first. Okay. We're Why'd you choose um, Arctic char? So it's it's just a very mild fish. Mm -hmm. So it, it kind of has characteristics of both salmon and trout. Nice. So I would describe it as something in between. Okay. It doesn't have the fat content that um, salmon has. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit flakier and a little more mild. So the best but of both But a little worlds. bit stronger than trout. Right. So, um, but we're gonna season both sides of the fish because we eat both sides of the That's fish. That's for sure. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna do skin side. We're gonna leave the skin uh, on the fish. Okay. <coughs> Where do you get your fish from? So um, we have a few different suppliers, but mm -hmm. we d we often use um, uh, Samuel and Sons. Of course, who doesn't? And, and uh, um, if not there, I do get some of our fish um, directly from uh, Hawaii flown mm -hmm. in, depending on the fish. Sure. And then um, we have a few other suppliers that we use, nice. but mainly Samuel and Sons. All Great. right, so we're going to start the fish. Okay. Do you eat a lot of fish in your house? Oh, uh, we do uh, uh, not frequently, but we mm -hmm. do. I used to do, uh, do a lot of fishing actually. So, I was oh, cool. is, it, is this a freshwater fish or a saltwater fish? So it's char? both. It's both. Okay, yep. so it's like Rash. a salmon. It's like salmon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where is it procured usually? So this comes from Iceland, and oh. it is organic. So they use all organic feed, um, and uh, they use more sustainable practices. A farm raised type of fish. Correct. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that looks like the perfect temperature. You don't want to get that good. too yeah, it does, hot. Yeah, mm -hmm. doesn't it? A little shallot? A little bit of shallot. Mm -hmm. So as the fish cooks, you're going to see it's going to get a little bit opaque um, as it comes in. When we get halfway, we're going to flip the fish, and then we're going to add a little bit of the herb combination again so those flavors just absorb right into the fish. Okay. And we're going to baste it. We're going to add a little bit more olive oil to that. I noticed the fish isn't really curling up like it does sometimes. Is that so? That's typically with yeah. I mean, th this fish you really don't have an issue with that. that. Okay. Y you have that when you have like striped bass, yeah. You know, and black bass, mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. um, they tend to curl up, so you would score the skin to prevent that from that's happening. That's convenient then yeah. for the home cook. Yep. Why skin side down, Jeff? I know. So I mean, this is you always sear the presentation side up first. Okay. So, and you want to get this nice, you know, a little bit crispy on it. Um, some people don't eat it, some people do. Okay. Um, I actually eat the skin. A lot of the, the good fats are in the skin. Very so, true. So we're gonna, you know, I, I tend to make it crispy, almost like a crispy bacon. Yeah. You know, get in, and I would take the, the skin off and then I'd finish that in the pan so it's like mm. crispy, crispy like a potato chip. Yum. And then eat that. That sounds terrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, fish potato chips. Were well, there scales in the fish? Do you have to scale or uh, this sure. type of fish? Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So while that's, we're gonna we're gonna get the um, little more olive oil in here. Okay. So what do we have crackling in here? Just so some fresh herbs. Some, some fresh thyme. Oh, you can smell that. Yeah, this is hits you right in the nose. And all of our herbs right now are coming from uh, Burnside Plantation, which okay. isn't too far from the hotel. So mm -hmm. it's really great that they're doing a really great job with. Uh, it, it, it evolves over time and yeah. they're doing a tremendous job there, but they're supplying us with all of our herbs. For You're really right spoiled now. with the farms that we, you have around we here. Really <laughs> we really There's are. There's so many good ones. I have an office. Our yeah. office is right next to Burnside Plantation. Yeah, the sports oh, medicine right. office is where All right, so a little bit of shallot. And then all we're going to do is I'm going to get that flavor. Oh, it's okay, so we're just going to take a little bit of that oil. And we're going to right it over the skin. Nice. Okay, so we just, uh, we're, what we're going to do now is just leave the Arctic char rest in the pan mm -hmm. with all those herbs, the shallots, um, and the olive oil. We're just going to let that rest. But for now, um, we'll start searing the, uh, the plum tomatoes. You're going to sear the tomatoes? <laughs> Interesting. Now you can, you know, we don't have a grill here in okay. the kitchen, so typically I would um, Marinate the tomatoes and um, you know olive oil, um, some fresh basil, a little mm -hmm. salt and pepper, and then uh, leave them go for about an hour, and then on the grill. Nice. And then just get a nice char on those tomatoes. And um, but for today, we're just gonna we're gonna sear them till they're really light brown, mm -hmm. and uh, that's it. And again, you know, cooking them, you know, on that high temperature, you're gonna you know take away the water. 
and it's only going to concentrate the, the flavor of the tomato. Tomatoes are probably my, one of my favorite foods of all time. Are these local tomatoes or where um, are you? They are not yet. They're coming real early. soon. A little bit okay. too early. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to just heat up the pan and a little salt and pepper, olive oil. And we're just going to ever so slightly caramelize those tomatoes. Wow. All right, so Genius. I think our tomatoes Looking pretty good. are ready to go. <coughs> Let's see here. So you see how they're oh, sure. a little yeah. light brown, lightly caramelized. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to leave them go for about 30 more seconds on the okay. other side. Okay. And we have our gremolata. I can see how this is all coming together, and I'm I'm liking what I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a really nice, simple, mm -hmm. simple dish. All right. It just goes to show that healthy food doesn't have to be boring. You can make a really nice, light dish, and it's going to have so much interesting flavor. Absolutely. All right. And the Arctic char. How do you usually like to cook the fish? Is that going to be a little underdone it's in the be center? Underdone. Okay, yeah. good. I mean, if you cook it the way you like it, if you like, I like it, it, if you like yeah. it a little, if you like it cooked through, then cook it through. Sure. You know, that's very subjective. Mm -hmm. If you couldn't find fennel, would you recommend using something else in place of that? So sure. Um, if you wanted to take something like kohlrabi, okay. So that's in the cabbage family. If you want to do something like that, that would definitely work for this. Um, also, not that easy to find. <laughs> true, but local market. Like if you go true. to really local farmers markets, yeah. the smaller farmers seem to be the ones that grow the most. Definitely. So um, and it's a little bit different. But yeah. It's not like real complex. It's very neutral. Right. Um, and then so uh, you certainly could use something like that. Okay. So, cool. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we're just going to finish it with the uh, vinaigrette. Mm. This is perfect summer food. Yeah, very light, yeah. very fresh. And like you said, especially if you did the whole thing on the grill, the tomatoes, and I guess you could even grill the fish. Absolutely. Yeah. Could probably even grill the lemons. You yeah, could. probably could. Because who wants to turn could. their oven on in August, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is that a, oregano? Right, yep. Nice. Yep. 